Mount Albert voters will go to the polls tomorrow, those have, who haven't voted in advance, and those who can be bothered to select a new MP to replace Labor's David Shearer in what's been dubbed the nicest spa election ever. National isn't even taking part, and the Labor and Green candidates are playing nice in a bit to demonstrate how their respective parties can work together after the general election. Voters do seem somewhat unexcited, so Checkpoint has given each of the three front runners in the by-election an 11th hour chance to sum up their campaigns in just one minute. This is Labor's candidate, Jacinda Ardern. Yeah, during this by-election, I've had the chance to knock on a lot of local people's doors and hands down the issue that's come up the most has been has been housing. 40% uh, of people in Mount Albert are renting and their costs just continue to increase and many of them aspire to own. We do need to crack down on foreign buyers. We need to tax speculators and we need to just get on with building affordable homes in Auckland. Those are all things we've campaigned on and that I know will make a difference to people here uh, and that matters. Next would be transport. Uh, we want to bring light rail um, from the city down Dominion Road and enhance some of those public transport services uh, which will help get the congestion off our roads and stop some of the local rat runs. And finally, schools. Uh, there are great schools in this area, but all of them are under pressure. They're growing. We need to make sure we're investing in infrastructure in our schools so we can keep those classroom sizes down. That's Jacinda Ardern, Labor's candidate. The Greens candidate is Julianne Genta. We have such an opportunity to create healthier, happier cities with better policy on transport and better urban planning. As our population grows, we need to ensure that we have affordable housing, but also that we're protecting the things we really love about Auckland, including green spaces and our waterways. As the Green Party candidate, and with over a decade of experience in transport and urban planning, I feel voting for me is a great opportunity to ensure that you have a strong advocate in Mount Albert for safer streets and a more people-friendly city. Whatever you do, Definitely go out and vote. Democracy needs all voices. We need everyone's voice to be heard so that we can have the best outcome for our community and for the long term. And that's what the Green Party is standing for. We're a democratic global movement that's campaigning for action on climate change, reducing inequality, a smarter way of doing things, more friendly for the planet and for each other. That from the Green Party candidate, Julian Genta, and Jeff Simmons from the Opportunities Party had this to say. So I grew up in the region, and as I've talked to people as part of this campaign, the real big issue that people are talking about is housing affordability and rents. And now I'm an economist, and I, I know that we are the only party with a realistic plan to restore housing affordability. Our tax reform package will stabilise prices and rents. It'll reduce income tax by up to a third. 80% uh, of people will be better off, particularly renters. And we'll drive investment towards business so that we can grow income and jobs so that people can actually pay for the, the cost of the houses that, that they're currently trying to buy. I'm the only one that's prepared to work with the government of the day to get things done for Mount Albert. And another important point is that both the Labour and Green candidates are already in Parliament. So actually I'm the only one out of those three that's not in Parliament. A vote for me could mean that Mount Albert has three candidates for the price of one. Jeff Simmons from the Opportunities Party. His point, of course, is that uh, Julianne Genta and Jacinda Dern are already in Parliament on the lists for Labour and the Greens, respectively. The uh, by-election closes, voting closes at 7 o'clock tomorrow night, and we will talk to uh, the winner of that electorate on Checkpoint on Monday.